Back now on Try It Today, and we welcome back uh, one of our guests who stops by whenever she can, not often enough, but uh, we really are glad to see her. Uh, J. Paul Director uh, Sheila Jones is here, Director of Development from, of course, Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care, and welcome back, dear. Hey, Good how to are see you? you? It's a joyous time of year, the holidays, and at the same time, it's a very sad time of year for a yes. lot of people. And, and I think about the fact that you have this grief support program. Um, what are you offering to families who are about to lose loved ones, who have just lost loved ones, and here we are at the holiday season? Um, during the holiday season, we focus mostly on the folks who have lost loved ones in the past year. Um, because getting through the holidays can be tough. That first Thanksgiving without mom, that first you know Christmas without dad. Um, and so we do things called handling the holidays workshops. And um, we also do individual counseling for those folks that um, kind of give them some pointers of maybe, you know, always put the favorite ornaments on the tree. It helps you to know that, that loved one's there and, and you're all thinking about each other together. And the chaplains uh, program, the, the chaplains who help uh, with hospice, who are just great, and we've had them on before, um, I guess the myth sometimes is that a chaplain might do good work in counseling people during the process, but are they there afterwards? And what you're saying is they are. I mean, the chaplain can yes. stay with you sort of and, and help, right? Each family that we served is followed for 13 months, not only by our grief support department, but that chaplain folks and the volunteers that are tied to that family still get to make visits as well. They get to have that one-on-one -on -one time and because, you know, those families do better. We don't want them having that person pass away and then all of a sudden all the hospice staff disappears. Right. We let everybody continue those relationships and encourage those relationships. Yeah, and I can tell you from experience, it folks, cope. That it doesn't happen. They stay with you and it is just a great thing that one hospice One of the things does. that we are doing this week, Jim, is that simultaneously on Thursday evening at every location that we have an office in those communities, there is a memorial service being held. Really? And that is, and all the families that we have served in the last year, their family members have all been invited to attend. So there's going to be different individual services in each community at That's the same time. That's great. Well, speaking of memorials, uh, give me an update on the uh, memorial holiday ornaments. Oh, it's going great. Um, we've got them in red, silver, and green, and they're still on sale. You can still get those in memory of your loved ones. Um, we actually was able to give out some personally today at an event I was at, and it was very touching and moving that someone got that in memory of their loved one. For and we'll put up a website information in a minute, but basically so that people understand at your, what, six or seven offices? How many offices? Seven. Do you have? Seven. And you can get these holiday ornaments, and, and they're memorial ornaments, and you can have a loved one's name put on the ornament. But you also will, sometimes if people want to, you'll display them for the folks. And, and, the, and in other words, I can buy it but not take it home right away. How does we that work? We display it on the trees in our local offices and at the hospice home. And that way they stay up for all the staff and the volunteers to see and enjoy. And then they have a pickup day. And I think it's December the 18th. I think that's the right day. Don't quote me on that. But the folks can pick them up and get them home in time for Christmas so their families can enjoy them as so well. So you're sharing the beauty of them with the whole community and yes. people in the hospice program. And then you pick it up and you can put it on your own tree. Mm -hmm. I just think that's that's great, and especially because it can memorialize someone that's a, a loved one or a friend who we've lost. Um, how much money do you raise from something like this, from sales um, and ornaments, and what do you do with it? We well, we usually raise about three thousand dollars. It's not a big, it's not a big fundraiser. It's just a way to say, you know, we remember you. Right. To, to tell, you know, for that loved one, for that family member, it's just a way to say that we remember that loved one. We don't want to let them, you know be forgotten. But you can use that money. We definitely use that money. We put that money right back into our program to support the grief support and things that we do in the community, the support groups, the um, you know the individual. Um, counseling that happens, we use that money to support that program. Why should people make donations to hospice as part of their holiday gift giving? I know there's a lot of needy organizations out there. Make a case for it. You know, we like to continue the good work that we get to do in the community to serve, the, to serve patients in hospice care and they are families who are going through, who don't have a way to pay, who don't have insurance and hospice is one of the organizations that we proudly get to say thanks to community gifts, we don't turn them away. So we want to continue that work and want to support all those other great programs, the Pet Peace of Mind, the We Honor Veterans, the Kids Bath. Um, oh, you're doing and, so many and different and things. A new one is the tuck-in program. Volunteers are, are calling new hospice families or hospice families who may be struggling. They're calling them every Thursday to check in and say, hey, what do you need before the weekend starts? Let's get you what you need and get your nurse out there in I didn't time. know you were doing that. That's great. It so just started in just last two weeks. One more thing. I just It's unbelievable what you're doing for folks. Uh, MTNValleyHospice.org is a website. Go to it. Find out great things. Things, get the ornaments, make donations at holiday time to the hospice in your area. And if you don't happen to be in the area where Mountain Valley Hospice is, make a donation to any hospice, local, yes. but uh, especially to Mountain Valley Hospice. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you so much.